make Keith asked me the other day what I've, what I've been getting up to while I've not been doing the bikes so I, uh, I thought I'd share what I've been messing around with I built a, a guitar pick, uh, bobbin winder for the pickups for a guitar and I used some like cheapy stuff from China for the counter and they used a uh, power supply out of a computer to power it and there's also a um, speed controller uh, come from China as well and that comes with the forward and reverse controls and I just added a switch to it to turn it on and off <coughs> so uh, it's quite cheap to make oh, there's a, a link in the description to a website that I've, that I've a web page that I put up that shows you all the bits and pieces and everything and while I was doing it I don't know if anyone's got OCD like me where even for five minutes just sitting there moving a bit of wire backwards and forwards to feed onto a bobbin <laughs> does my head in so I made a little um, little servo, a little transverse uh, tran yeah a little, a little servo uh, transverse is it? transverse? wire transverse? and that's run off of a Arduino Uno board I think the board was about seven quid or something like that, seven to seven British pounds. And I think the servo was something like two pound fifty or something. So for under a tenner, I've made this uh, transverse thingy bob, and that's just run off of a, a little bit of um, code. This is all available on the on the website to download if you want to download it. And have a look or build one yourself. So I need to wind, I want to wind that bob in there to uh, five 5,000 turns I think I want on there. What I noticed as well is um, while that's moving backwards and forwards if you run the bobbin slowly it tends to wind in the middle but if you speed the bobbin up it, it does the full the full width of the bobbin so I mean I've just run that wire through you can see I don't know if you can see it barely see the wire it's so thin it's thinner than your air but that's um you should wind that around a few times and then we turn it on The wire, the way it's going, it doesn't take the speed it's going. It doesn't take time to go across. But if I was to speed it up, the wire moves further and further across. So if you wanted a, a centre loaded um, bobbin, you would just keep it as a reasonable slow speed. You can stop it, and you can see. Right, as you see, the wires are not moving to the right enough. Right, so what we need to do on the program here, I'm not sure if I can do this. But you've got the position 85 there, that's, that's the. Oh, I'm not used to this, I'm used to the computer. So if we put that to 90 and that'll move further to the right, what I'm going to do. Um, Part two of this uh, build of the traverse thing is let me go upload it. Is is add a couple of control pots. So I've got a, a setting for the left setting, a setting for the right setting, and a setting for the speed of of, of this this uh, lever. So that would be on the next. On the next update, right, it's still going too far to the left. Is that pushed in there? Right, that's so it. Let's see. I want to put that to about 94. 
five, I reckon. Oh, 905, let's make it spin around in circles, isn't it? Oh no, I'm doing it all wrong now. 95, and then come up. Is that right? Did it want a comma there? Did I just remove a comma? <laughs> I think that should be a... Oh no, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Let's get it's control and Z. Come back out of that. Right, 90. Backspace, 95. And that wants one of those things. Ninety-five. Like that. Oh, it's not uploading. I know why it's not uploading. It's because I haven't selected the port it's on. Uh, com. Com five. There you go, let's upload that now. There's uploading now, it stops. Now you've got more of a sweep to the right. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's trying to work its way to the right now. too much to the left by a little bit. Right, oh, it's not too bad. It's now running at a thousand RPM. I'll stop it. Stop it in a minute and see how uh, what the situation is on the uh, levelness. Right, what we got? That's not bad. Keep it going a little bit longer. Oh yeah, the, the, the boy has run through the, the, the reel on the floor when it comes up. Up through a, a small piece of copper tubing, goes through a little couple of foam pads which I'll attach to a couple of bits of uh, perspex with a screw and a spring in the top to give it the, uh, the torque. Had a thousand. Now, looking at that, to me, it's going too much on the right hand side at the top there. So, you need to adjust. See, this is why I need a couple of pots. I need to adjust that number again down to about 90, 90 really. run a little bit more to the left or less to the right I should say so if I do the uh, little volume uh, volume little control parts so I can do it on the fly as it's, as it's running rather than keep going back to the uh, rather than keep going back to the uh, computer all the time
keep checking the uh, yeah I think it's still a little bit still a little bit too much to the to the right so let's change that to change that to 89 88 send away with a mixer it's not going fully to the right now it's Starting to level out, it's starting to level out there. It's still up a bit there, but I think that's uh, all the times I've wound pickups. He's always done that. Slow it down a little bit and have a bit more, a bit more centre left. See, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see that. I can see that the wire is is winding more on the left hand side, and then it's coming. It's not quite reaching the right hand side, which I wanted it to do, or which I want, so it don't build up so much on the right hand side. Even at that speed, it doesn't quite reach. Too bad. Yeah, it's not looking too bad at all at the moment. Stopping it while we're in the old, uh, in the in the uh, construction stage, just to make sure it ain't gonna wind itself off the edge of the bobbin. Yeah, I'll 
5,001 turns. I think that's on there quite quite alright really. A little build up on the right hand side but the first one of the day getting the uh, getting the program right. I think that's alright really. Right, let me take that off and we'll start another one up. Right we've got a uh, the screw side in there and the target I want for this is 5,000 5,100 turns so I've left it as it was and I'll just set it off I'm uh, pretty, pretty confident that it's going to be alright on this one yeah it's pretty even pretty even build up on this one Slow it down and give it a bit of welly in the middle. Give it more of a centre, uh, bit of centre curve on it. There we go. Yeah, keep an eye on the counter, eh? <laughs> I want 5,100. There we go. All we do is just wind that around and then tape your wire on. Cut your wire here. And book your uncle. Yeah, so. If you want to see updates on the old uh, the Traverse Ujima flip, when I when I add the pots and work out the left and right angles with the two pots and the speed, yeah, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell and all that crap. Right, thanks for watching. Anyway, let's uh, carry on. I'll show you me mini guitar that I built on, a, on another episode where I can test the pickups out that I'm building. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like this little project of mine. And uh, I'll catch you later.